Hello everybody, this is Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet with another card in my Christmas in July series. Like today, this one is just a really clean and simple card. Easy, easy, easy to make and mass produce. So let's go ahead and get started. So I started off with making a A2 size standard top folding card which measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is some 110 pound Nina Solo White Classic Crest paper. And all the products that I use today will be linked in the description box below. Then I went ahead and used the MFT stitched rectangle die right here, the largest one, and cut it out of a Christmas paper pad that is from my mind's eye called Jingle All The Way. Um, the paper pad has been discontinued, but I did happen to find some of the 12 by 12 papers on scrapbook.com, and I will link that for you as well in case you're interested in this paper. So we have that. I went ahead and put my foam squares on here already because there's not much I'm going to do to this panel other than put another panel on top of that. So we have that. I'm going to put that to the side along with our base. And then I'm going to, I went in and cut this die cut out of the Tim Holtz and Sizzix uh, speckle die. Or deckle. It's called deckle. I'm sorry. So I did that. It's just a smaller, a smaller one. And um, then I went ahead and I have this spellbinders nesting Christmas tree dies, holiday trees. Um, and I just chose the second to largest one and I cut out um, it into this cardstock. It's also some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. And the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is that we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiments out and the first card I showed you was in green this one's in red I figured I would change up the color schematics just so I can um, I can use these cards and give them out as well so I have a Merry Christmas on here from a Hero Arts stamp set and we're going to stamp it out in some red ink I'm going today I'm going to use Fun Stampers Journey Candy Apple it's a really nice red ink so I'm probably going to have to ink it up twice maybe three times but we'll see how that works so let's go ahead with impression number one and see gotta do it a second time so I always say thank goodness for stamping platforms I'm trying to put enough pressure on that to where it's gonna grab okay so I'm liking that but I think I'm gonna go one more time just to get it a little bit more solid uh, impression and I'll grab that and I think that's perfecto so we're going to go with that so let's go ahead and pull out that panel and put this to the side and put our ink pad away as well because we're done inking everything up like I guess this is a really super clean and simple card today so we're going to bring out our panel that we had cut all right and we're going to glue this down Right, with some art glitter glue so I'm going to bring out my handy dandy art glitter glue and you can use any adhesive you want of course and then you also want to make sure that it's not you know clogged up or dry so give me a moment and I will make sure that's taken care of so there we go so we got so I put some art glitter glue down you can use dry adhesive at this point you can really use foam squares too if you really want to but I figured I'd enough one dimension on the bottom half is good enough for me. So let's go ahead and do my best to line up things. Okay, and almost, but not quite my to my liking. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm perfectly fine with how that came out. I'm just pressing everything down. Then I'm going to go in with some stickles. Um, you can use whatever kind of stickles you have on hand. I'm just going to go ahead with this one. I'm going to put it on the inside where that Christmas tree is. Like I know this one is almost out because I used quite a bit of it on a, another project that I had this week. So I like it when I use up my stuff. Like it's like, okay, I'm crafting. You know, when, I, when something ends, it's like I'm crafting. So I'm just going to use my my handy dandy finger tool here 
just because it's the one tool that I cannot lose in my craft room. And I guess if I ever do lose that tool in the craft room, it's because I got way too close to a pair of scissors or a, perhaps a guillotine trimmer that I have. So I'm just gonna grab a little napkin here and do that. So there we have um, that. So we're done with our stickles. And I have some little gold um, gems here, jewels. You can put whatever you want on here as far as an embellishment um, to, to, you know, make pretty it up. Like you can use sequins. I'm just kind of using what I have. And for me, I always seem to get um, in a routine when I use something. I tend to use it multiple times on different projects. Multiple times on different projects, okay? That'll take a moment to dry, but that's okay. And we'll go ahead, and I'll do this later, just take off the back of the foam squares, the release paper, put some art glitter glue in there, and put it to the front of our card. So there you have today's card. Super easy, super simple, fun to do with a group of people, with the children, the grandchildren, or anything like that. And you can use different color schemes if you want to. So here is a red, and here is a green version of this as well. So I thank you for joining me for today's Christmas in July card. And this series will continue to the end of the month until um, I'll probably do a couple more Christmas cards before Christmas and then I'll do another series um, around the end of October, beginning of November. So I thank you for joining me again today. Like I said, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as when it, the notification bell pops up, make sure you hit that because you want to get notified from YouTube when I upload a video so you don't miss out on any good stuff going on. So again, thank you for joining me. Y'all have a crafty day, y'all.